Hello, and welcome to this introductory video in which I'd like to tell you about a course I deliver about once a year online, live, in the analysis of story structure using Spencer Brown's methodology, which he outlines in Laws of Form. Now, most people have applied his methodology to mathematics and sociology. I'm one of the few people who's applied it to word-based stuff. And the application to story structure and the analysis of how stories work is really special. But why have I called this the unknown storyteller? Well, let me give you a quote. It's from the Rig Veda. Who really knows? It starts out asking. Who shall here proclaim it? From where was it born? From where this creation? The gods are on this side of the creation of this world. So then, who does know from where it came to be? This creation, from where it came to be, if it was produced or if not, he or she who is the overseer of this world in the furthest heaven, she or he surely knows. Or if he, she, she, he does not know. Perhaps we'll never know. And yet, there is story. And there are laws of story. We have different story structures. Now, story structures are not narratives. Narratives are individual performances or versions of stories. Stories are particular, recognisable meta-plots, if you like. The rags-to-riches story, Cinderella. The death and rebirth story, Snow White, Sleeping Beauty. All these are recognisable. And a story structure is what makes one meta uh, structure different from another. It's what makes the story of Cinderella, for example, the story of Cinderella. Story structure is how story stories. And no one so far has used as easy, as visually intuitive, as clear, as simple a methodology to look at how story stories, as Spencer Brown has allowed us to do to date. So how can we map story structure? Well, the methodology I teach is one based on only six symbols from Spencer Brown's work. The sign of recursion, which is a re-entry sign in his work, I use to denote story openings and closings. The mark is used to denote a character, who, when, where. And the unmarked state is used to denote a qualitative change in the relationship between the known and the known in some structures. It doesn't come into all of them. It's used in Zen koans, for instance. The main ones we use are backwards moves and forwards moves. Backwards moves stop a character from resolving a problem they have, and forwards moves take them closer to the resolution of it. And when you get a double barb, that sets up some kind of a cognitive dissonance that needs to be resolved, and that typically is a result of a reaction or action between two characters, and that appears in certain story structures, and it has a particular quality to it that lends those story structures their character. The outline of the course covers the basic methodology and a demonstration of how it works. We'll look at the expansion and contraction of stories and the elements of stories. We'll look in particular depth at six story structures. There are 20 distinct stories, story structures I've analysed so far. There may be more, but we'll look at six in depth. And whereas most other courses out there won't give you the whole story, they'll want you to buy into something else, 
I will give you the whole 20 in the first course. We won't be, ha be able to look at the rest of the 14 in any great detail, but you can go away and you will have enough details to work with them on your own. We'll look at how story structures can be classified based on their starting steps. And for the writers among you, we'll look at plot patterns. This is a different level. Story structures happen chronologically. Plot patterns, well, you can tell a story with the events happening in any order, almost any order. Then we'll look at the implications of the methodology, see what it reveals that other methods don't reveal. And that's where some of the exciting stuff comes in. Who's the course for? It's for anyone who's interested in how story works, be they narratologists, people who analyse narrative, writers, very, very good for writers, very good system to help you identify plot holes and how to fix them. It's good for narrative therapists, it's good for storytellers, folklorists, and anyone who is interested in how story works and how story can be used to build harmony and create good conversations. So join me. Join me on this course. The online storyteller runs about once a year live online. If you can't make any of those dates, do contact me if you can get a group together. I'm very happy to deliver it as a bespoke online course or in person. And if you can't make that happen, then you can always contact me and I'm happy to take individuals through the course on a one-to-one -one basis in a series of intensive tutorials. Full details are below the video, video in the description field and I look forward to contacting you and taking you through this wonderfully exciting and visually intuitive easy way of understanding story very soon.